Okay, so a while ago someone asked me to do an unboxing for one of my um, mystery boxes that I get sent in the mail. Uh, I didn't do it for the one that they wanted me to, but I thought I'd do it for this one, which is uh, my Marvel Collector Cause, the um, Civil War box. Um, <clears throat> I've already opened it so that I know what's in it, and I decided to do this um, just because I've never done an unboxing video before, and I thought, you know, might as well start it. I put pretty much all of my life on Instagram and Facebook and Anyway, so why not branch out into videos? So the box is actually a lot bigger than the other boxes that I've gotten, um, which thrills me a little bit and also worries me because I'm kind of running out of space to put everything in. Anyway, so we'll start by opening the box. Okay, as always, you get your badge and your patch. Um, your patch this time is this one, which is our... Uh, Crossbones, um, digging it. I kind of love that the first couple of boxes, the um, badge and the patch were like the same character, and now they've kind of swapped it up a little bit, and I'm actually really liking that. So, our badge is you can see it. Where's the camera? There we go. Uh, it's a bit hard, it's a bit reflective there, but that is Black Panther. So, sorry, our badge and patch are um, uh, Crossbones and Black Panther. Don't know why I just paused then. All right, so opening up the other side of the box and getting down into it. Now, this is a first. I've never seen this in the box before. Um, it's advertising for the next box and showing you it was in the past boxes in case you've missed out on them. I actually have them all, which makes me happy. Um, and then on the back, this is also new, um, with like your loot crates and your nerd... Um, I forgot what it's called, Nerd Box, um, uh, Nerd Block, uh, Horror Block and stuff like that, you tend to get um, a little pamphlet in it that, or a booklet that will tell you a bit about the theme and the items that you're getting. This one has got this little postcard thing on it which shows you like, which is a bit disappointing if you want to get into the unboxing of the video with in, to unboxing your own box without actually seeing what's in it. But it gives you a little bit of a breakdown on what it is. It tells you a little bit about the comics, the t-shirts, the design of it, what everything that you're going to get in your box, which I'm really stoked on because um, it hasn't happened so far that there's been something in my box that I don't know what it is. Uh, it's being a bit of a Marvel fan myself. Uh, and some of the other things I've gotten, like Loot Crate and Nerd Block, I've been a bit like, oh, I don't really know what this is. But yeah, this is super handy and I would definitely be holding on to it. Okay, so... In pretty much every Marvel, in fact, I'm pretty sure it's every Marvel one that you get, um, with the exception of the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmassy one, you get a t-shirt of some description. This t-shirt, and they usually have a bit of like, they do have like the pop theme to it. Uh, the first one didn't really, and neither did the villains one, so the Age of Ultron and villains boxes didn't have the pop style t-shirts, but they still had t-shirts. This one is pretty cool. I've kind of backed myself into a corner with the computer a bit. But this is the Captain America, um, Captain America Civil War design, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not sure if you managed to see it all then, but there you go. Uh, now, moving on with the box. I mean, I'm going to wear this t-shirt pretty much everywhere. Like, I wear most of the other ones. Um, I haven't worn the scarf yet, but it hasn't been quite cold enough to wear the scarf. And I feel like it's not quite long enough for my likings. But we're not talking about the Guardians of the Galaxy box. Okay, so moving on, we have our Marvel Collector Cause Variant Edition comic, and this one is Black Panther. I've never read a Black Panther comic book before. Uh, mostly what I know about Black Panther is what I've read on the internet or what I've seen in the um, Avengers um, cartoon movie, the one with the, the kids involved in it, um, whose name escapes me right now. So I'm pretty stoked to actually read this. I'm not sure if I'll actually open it from the package though or if I'll just buy a different copy or wait for it to come out or wait for like the trade paperback or to buy the graphic novel of it. I'm just going to see how it goes. Okay, so, sorry I keep ducking out of screen. Moving on, we have a Team Cap and a Team Iron Man lanyard. I'm not a big fan of lanyards. I don't have much of a cause to wear lanyards. Um, it does say on our little card that there's a, they're providing a home for all our pins, which is comes in handy because I might just put all the pins on it and then hang it somewhere in my room. Okay, so our next item is... I totally did not think that I was going to enjoy these figures, and now I've got two, three, 
three. I hope it's three. I'm just going to check out the back of the card again. I have four. Four of these little daubs from uh, the Collector Cause and a Walking Dead one. Now this one we've got is the exclusive Marvel Collector Cause version. It's um, Iron Man, which makes me hope that everyone got Iron Man because I'm slightly disappointed if you have a choice of Iron Man or Cap because then I'm going to have to be chasing the other one. Now these figures are adorable and I kind of wish they weren't as cute as they are because I'm tempted to buy them all. But here's our little Iron Man with his little mask up. He's definitely going on the shelf. Chill out with Ultron and Loki um, and Deadpool, of course. So, our last and final item in our Marvel Collectibles box from Funko is, of course, the two pack of pops. Now, these are completely new designs just for the Marvel Collectibles box. According to the leaflet, they pretty much did them. They approved, got it approved in 24 hours from the Marvel team. Didn't have much time to do concept stage. I went straight to the sculpting stage. So it'd be interesting to see how they are. Um, as always, I love that the exclusive things are versions of the older ones um, with new sculpts and stuff. So I don't feel like I'm getting ripped off. I could just get him out of the box. Okay, so Iron Man comes with the stand to help let him fly. It's pretty cool and I kind of dig it. Um, it'll be up there with my Falcon and uh, Deadpool in terms of little stands. And here's our, I actually thought his head was on sideways for a second, but here's our Captain America. Um, so they'll definitely be going back on display, probably staying in their box. Thank you so much for watching my very first unboxing video.